Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, today we will see how to create complex shaped columns in eTabs very easily using AutoCAD and Excel sheet. This column shapes we will model in eTabs with the help of Excel sheet. Here column dimensions are in meter. Here we can see this point two meter. Whatever the shape is, we can create that section in eTabs with the help of Excel sheet and this AutoCAD file very easily. So let's start. We can open eTabs program. I am showing using eTabs 2016. We can do it in eTabs 2018 and 19 also. Same procedure. Open the program. Here we have five columns. So we will create five SD section first in eTabs. Metric MKS unit. Click on OK. Here we can provide grid data and story data. Now I am going with the default parameters. Click on OK. Go to define section properties, frame sections. Here we can delete default sections. Now add new property. We will go to section designer here. Continue with default property name, concrete column reinforcement to be designed section designer here we can draw polyline any line we can draw press enter like this click on ok ok then add copy ok add copy ok this three add copy four add copy 5 5 section now click on ok we will export this etabs file into text file e2k file this one we can write complex columns click on save length unit meter click on ok now we will open the excel sheet this is simple excel sheet i have created by following the text file here we can see complex columns e2k if it is not showing with notepad symbol just right click on this file then open with choose another app from here you will get the app notepad click on always use this app to open e2k file click on notepad ok now this one will be opened in notepad here we can see this column sections here sd section f sec 1 sd section f sec 2 sd section f sec 3 4 and here 5 following this following these lines of coordinate i have prepared this excel sheet i will share this in the description section below this tutorial these coordinates will be copied from this sheet to coordinates so these coordinates how we will get we will see now from here type upload here you can see upload click on this then 
here I have VLX file this one this file also I will share in the description section below this tutorial after downloading this one you can use this click on this then click on load you can choose the option always load or load once any one of them I will go for always load then close now that VLX app loaded to the AutoCAD file here click on line command then press 0 comma 0 for 0 0 coordinate click enter then like this now this one move with reference of geometric centroid like this okay click on first cell here then come to AutoCAD CLI click to XLS click on this then click on first coordinate then second then third then fourth then fifth then sixth here accordingly the coordinates imported now this coordinates will be copied here automatically here we have six joints or nodes so other we will delete and here f sec one like this now this one I will copy and paste in this text file here fsec1 up to this paste ok now similarly now similarly for this section this one move up this one move to here now here in the excel click on the first cell then go to autocad file cli click on this then first point second point third point fourth point fifth point and sixth point then press enter now this coordinates imported and here also copied we have to change this fsec to name this one then drag and drop like this then copy and here test now for section 3 go to here click on the first cell then this one move up move this one now click CLI this one then first node second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth then press enter now here coordinates imported here we can see eight node so here first we will change the section name F sec 3 then we will drag up to 8 this up to 8 this one also up to 8 now this one 
copy then paste here for coordinates paste like this now move this one copy this section go to here click on first cell then come here again same command click first second third fourth fifth sixth so this we will delete and here we will change the name fsec4 copy up to 6 this we will delete now this copy and here sd section 4 paste okay now for this section move this one to here then click on first cell here type command cli one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve here twelve nodes press enter now here we will change section name to five press enter then copy up to twelve number of cell and this also up to 12 now this one we can copy and paste here for coordinates paste here we can see number of corner points 6 this will be 12 this 6 ok here 8 it will be 8 and others 6 corner points ok so now this file we can save it ok then close now I will open that e2k file to etabs again etabs e2k text file complex columns open now we will see this column shapes imported to our etabs file go to section properties frame sections here fsec1 you can see the section size here you can see the shape imported okay fsec2 this one also imported fsec3 this one also imported fsec4 this one also imported fsec5 okay using this procedure we can 
copy coordinates from AutoCAD to ETAPS file. Here this is AX, Y and this Z coordinate. Okay. So this useful files I will share in the description section below the tutorial. I hope this will be useful to everyone and I hope all of you have liked the tutorial. If you like the tutorial, please press like button and if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe the channel and press bell button to get notified when new uploads will be done so thanks for watching stay tuned for more upcoming important tutorials press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update